Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the opener for BSL Season 15 Hasu League. And unfortunately, I have scattered... So, because there was an extended player base for the round of 15, if you're playing, paying attention to the Pro League, it kind of shifted a lot of players all over the place. And also there, for whatever reason, has been a greater level of difficulty organizing playing uh, for a lot of these guys so there are a lot of empty replays from the round of 32 and i'm missing a lot of replays from the round of 16 as well but this is group a opener doodle going up against sare is what it is labeled as i think this might be clocky but i've got sare that and uh Mousy is the other uh name from team ash that i'm seeing listed here i might try to correct this later on but let me see what map this is as well so to check that ahead of time. Is this Longinus? Looks like Longinus. Um, so point being, I'm going to try to cast as much as I can, but because of a lot of scheduling conflicts, I'm missing a ton of replays from the round of 16. I think it gets more sorted out towards the round of 8. But we got a lot of familiar names. We've got I Love It. XTO in this grouping. we got Kiko out again. We've got Rancor. We have Gosifer out here. We've got React, I believe, into the round of 16. Sony's out and played in Hasu League once again. Doodle, of course. Fisheye, who I think might be my favorite. So Kiko, Rancor, Fisheye, all strong players that I could see taking Hasu League this season. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Oops. Trying to get rid of my uh, upper thing. So a little bit scattered. <laughs> but as things progress, Mousy opening up two gate. This is a rampless map probe making its way and to the 12 o'clock location we'll know what direction to send those zealots as soon as he enters that 12 o'clock base we have a assimilator gateway opening but a first zealot being produced this is going to be open surface no ramps to defend so might be a little bit more challenging to defend this we'll see how Mousy executes first two zealots going to be produced and we'll see if this is a full two gate dedication Probe now making has, and it looks like the probe is going to join the battle rather than returning to home base. Add a little bit of additional pressure. One zealot plugging the gap. Seven X core warping in. And interestingly enough, did that probe come back? Okay, there's the probe. Initial zealot running across and trying to engage this probe. It's hard to tell with the color swap. I can't color swap it to red versus blue because otherwise it's just full yellow because it. It didn't end up playing top versus bottom, but initial three zealots making their way across. The simulators drop, which means it's not going to be the full dedication. This is just to apply pressure. So if Doodle, he's got his second zealot out, got a shield battery, which honestly feels a little bit on, maybe a little bit overkill right there. Because with the two zealots and the Dragoon, honestly, I think that might have been sufficient, but the shield battery is certainly going to seal this front door in. However, I believe economically this is going to put Doodle somewhat behind. No third pylon. Sorry, the third pylon just coming on online. The three zealots going to make an attempt at the breach. That probe is going to return back home. Three zealots versus two, and there's the surface area to work with. But some nice usage of that shield battery from Doodle. And now the Dragoon out. One zealot down. And Doodle actually, with that shield battery, ending up with a superior attack force momentarily and is actually even on probes overall let's see if he continues to press this it's going to be a while before initial dragoons are out however i believe by the time doodle makes his way to the opposite base he might get a free shot or two on the zealots at which point he's going to have to retreat in a hurry because there's going to be a superior attack force on the ground out of that two gate from mousy or sare I think Sarah is what I have listed. Also, that banner says BSL Season 14. I'm just waiting to get new graphics updated to BSL Season 15. Doodle's probe was alive that entire time. Now going to get pushed out. But Doodle able to get, wow, both Zealot kills and is able to get his Dragoon back. But needed to be very, very careful with that. Two Zealots, two Dragoons. Now moving out. Doodle going into a robotics facility. Dropping his second gateway. He's not 
You can see Mousy setting up to potentially go ahead and grab his Nexus. He's actually got the troop count to do it. Not sure if he has the scouting information to know what the follow-up was for Doodle. It looks like Doodle is going to be a little bit aggressive in the follow-up. And I assume drop down a robotic support bay. He's got that shuttle initially building. Dragoon range is now finished. Not in position where he can really apply pressure. He's going to move this Dragoon up maybe to try to test the corner. More units plopping out. A cannon! Cannons warping down for Ser. So respecting potential Dark, Temp uh, Dark Templar follow-up. He didn't get any scouting information. So dropping two initial cannons. That is going to be protective to go ahead and get that natural expansion up. But with that robotics uh, facility online and the Reaver in production... This could be trouble, because he's not going to have... This is a very droppable main, depending on angle. And so he could end up having defenses that just don't work. However, four Dragoons, two Gates, he's at least confirmed... So Mousy at least confirms. No base at the natural expansion, and now Doodle getting shoved back into his main. Mousy initially retreating, worried about... Potential three gate opener, something basically being down on troops. And so retreating and exiting. But now, going ahead and plopping down his nexus, he's got the two cannons blockading. He's ahead in the probe count. The Reaver's out. So Doodle is going to be able to go ahead and push out of his natural expansion. He's also going to be ahead as far as pure army composition because of that Reaver and shuttle. However, He's going to have to strike and get some damage done here because otherwise going to be behind this nexus is very far ahead of his comparative nexus might wait for that observer to go ahead and wander out confirm additional information behind this two additional gateways tacking on for mousy and i think that overall mousy is going to be in a strong 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 position here because even though he's down a reaver i like that he's fanning out these dragoons to the north just to make sure that there's nothing proxies. Also, keep an eye just in case a shuttle was making its way this direction. But yeah, he's going to have four gateways worth of production able to pump. He's got that latent defense of the two cannons on his front door. He's up in probes overall. He's behind in reavers. And actually, he's making no motions. This is kind of crazy. This is an odd game altogether. He's made no motions towards reaver tech whatsoever. So maybe just wants to get it done gateway man style. Doodle grabbing his Nexus, and that could be the critical mistake here. Probe on the edge, trying to provide scouting information as to where that shuttle is located. The Observer leading forward, but yeah, Mousy playing completely in the dark. Yes, he has the economic lead, but two Reavers are out for Doodle, and that can make up for a lot of ground troops. And cannons do not range Reavers, so Dragoons hidden to the north... Splitting that attack force, engaging from the high ground. So Mousy trying to make the best out of just having ground troops engaging. However, because of this, he's kind of got a split attack force. Now the Dragoon's starting to field out. The Reaver getting some good shots to the south, but again, Mousy's not able to walk in to have that. I don't believe this is allowing that misfire chance. So Doodle just slamming this army from the low ground. Getting a huge amount of pot shots. Loses one Reaver to the south, but it looks like Mousy just might have an overwhelming amount of Dragoons here. And Doodle ends up losing that shuttle. Is going to end up losing his Reaver as well. Resets a lot of the Dragoon count. Is applying additional pressure here. But with those two cannons on the front, really isn't able to breach otherwise. Has snuck ahead in the overall probe count somehow, just through superior macro because honestly Mousy behind this should have at a the two nexus should be much further ahead as far as raw probe count he's reset his dragoon count as well does have the four gateways to work with versus the three gate but doodle now all of a sudden ahead in probes just because of pure macro also the dragoons starting to sneak forward the observer able to confirm the Dragoon count, and this is probably the moment that is going to give the game to Doodle. He's going to be able to wander in, see that it's five gate, zero robo. Keep in mind there is plus one weapons, and I think that might have finished in the midst of that last fight, which gave 
a distinct advantage to Mousy. I don't think I've ever seen this build order. Out of Protoss, though, a four gate plus one rush. Doodle still holding way ahead. The same litter moving out, but now Mousy gonna have another shot at it. He's got eight Dragoons on the front. He's going up against seven Dragoons, so he's gonna have that plus the plus one weapons, but you've got that Reaver. Which is, yeah, just able to obliterate with the splash. And you can see upon finding that Reaver on the front door, Mousy gonna go ahead and back up. The Observer keeping a good eye on the front to see additional troops gathering. But yeah, Mousy just wants to get it done with just pure Gateway Man in PvP. Plus one weapons is there, but he's made no movements towards any additional tech, so it looks like he wants to just get a pure breach. Some Zealots being tacked on, a second Reaver on the front. Mousy's kind of all in with this, to be honest. Because as that Reaver count grows, unless he's able to just really sneak in and assail and pick off some of these Reavers, he's going to fall further and further behind in that tech race. Finally getting his own robotic facility. I'm looking for a movement towards some High Templar or some mid-tier tech, because that could help equalize things. But Doodle, content to sit on three gateways with his robotics facility, get another shuttle out, plopping his own Citadel of Adun down, so he's going to be ahead in the overall tech count as well. Control group plus th uh, five Dragoons. To around 15, now moving towards that natural expansion. Plus one weapons is there. Engaging, the Reavers dropped. But here's the thing, yeah, those Dragoons just pile up for these Reaver shots. You can see them moving in, trying to get on top of the Reavers. The Zealots pushing them back. Mousy once again, engaging killing a handful of troops and backing right back out. Doodle, even as far as the army goes, ahead in the probe count. More Dragoons grouping up, and this is... Yeah, this was the window. Now a Citadel of Adun being dropped, but it feels like too late. Zelt leg speed being upgraded. I think Doodle's going to end up... Yeah, he's going ahead and tacking on his additional gateways. Might have Psystorm ahead of Mousy if he goes ahead and drops a Templar Archives at this stage. Let's see if he even bothers. Observatory finally coming online. And plus one armor coming online. So Doodle behind in upgrades, but way ahead in tech. Way ahead in economy now. But we'll need to capitalize on it. Mousy going to go ahead and try to take the 6 o'clock base. He's going to be doing that from an inferior economic output standpoint and down on tech does at least have more Dragoons, but that is very likely going to be negated in not too long as Zealot Leg Speed, not that far from finishing. Plus the Reavers, as long as Doodle chooses his engagement points wisely, that will be plenty to go ahead and negate the upgrade advantage. Level 1 armor about halfway finished here for Mousy. Peeking up, making sure that a third hasn't been taken. Kind of on a soft edge there with that Observer. Looking to group up and dive in once again. Zealot's actually just getting picked off on the front. Doodle not engaging and shredding a couple troops. Massive amounts of Dragoons moving in. The Reaver exposed. Shuttle's not there. So it's just a Reaver defense, and now the Reaver's gone. And Mousy moving up with some Zealot support. Plenty of Dragoons here. Another Reaver moving up. Zealot's coming in to help defend, and Mousy doesn't like it, so he's going to back off. While that was happening, a shuttle snuck through the lines, got a massive amount of kills. Another huge split of kills. And you can see the pro count just plummeted between the natural. It's empty at the natural, and that, with that, Doodle in a huge commanding position. The Dragoons rallied away, and so the shuttle with the Reaver and Zealot's going to be able to meander right back out. All of a sudden, Mousy down to 18 probes versus the 49 for Doodle. Ugh. Not able to get the shuttle, as it does have speed. Leg speed finished. Six gateways up for Doodle. No Templar Archives as of yet, but he still has that pile of troops to go ahead and defend. And now, Mousy... He was playing catch-up before, but he's definitely playing catch-up now. 51 probes versus 18. 
still waiting to have enough resources to go ahead and grab his third. Doodle grabbing his third. Starting to march out on the base. Plus one armor is finished. So there at least is that upgrade advantage. But honestly, the Reavers, again, it comes down to duplication. Reavers not out with this attack force. They do need to be deployed to negate that plus one weapons advantage. But it looks like there's an overwhelming amount of troops for Doodle. Nearly double the supply of Mousy now in this match and starting to chase that army down. A nice unit cohesion by Doodle. You can just see he's got the Zealots careening forward with their legs be getting right on top, able to pick off the Observer as well. Some units trying to maybe... Sorry, these are just Observers. I thought there was maybe a, a Zealot right there trying to sneak through the lines. Doodle feels like he's done enough damage and pushed Mousy back, so he's going to go ahead and retreat back to home base. But right now, things are looking dire for Mousy. 21 workers to 51. Paused on upgrades, continuing to try to produce what he can. Actually pausing workers here in the main for some reason. Doodle fanning right back out. Maybe looking to check and make sure that third isn't online. Probes in the meantime transferring up to the north for Doodle. Still has three Reavers to work with. And a pile of troops. Checking the 6 o'clock. Some duds, but I don't think it matters because Doodle can basically go for a death blow, and he doesn't really need to at this stage. Full engaging. Upgrade advantage still there. Shuttle taken out to the north, so those Reavers are going to have to slow crawl the rest of the way. But GG for Mousy called there because... Yeah, Doodle just smothering with that economy. And so interesting play not playing out for Mousy. Doodle showing why he's a strong competitor, taking game one. Thanks for listening.